Okay, this should be interesting. It is time for Howard's Illustrated Economics. They're calling it a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're talking about the causes of food price inflation. Yeah, more people should get out to an actual museum. The <laughs> Labor Department says retail food prices rose 12% last month. Not over 12 months, last month. Now, what could possibly make food prices go up 12% in a month? The answer is no single thing. It was many things. And I thought I would show you four of the key things. Drought. Crop yields are down all over the Midwest. Farm products often travel by barge down the Mississippi, but drought has lowered the river so much barges can't travel in some spots. The roads, the river's down too much. And then there's Hurricane Ian. It damaged orange groves. We're looking at the smallest harvest since 1943, but it also hit tomatoes and strawberries and watermelon. Then there's Vladimir Putin. Two of the top fertilizer exports are the two combatants, Russia and Ukraine. So it's hard to get fertilizer right now. And finally, there's OPEC. Tractors, trucks, and trains all need fuel, and fuel's expensive because OPEC is producing less. So that's just four reasons why food not only is costing a lot more than it did a month ago, but may go up more. It's 618, and Billy has your forecast. Right after this. Well done, though, Howard. Well done. Hey, the Food and Drug Administration.